uh, so we took, we said this would be interactive, uh, keep you awake a little bit. We're going to do a little role playing here. Um, so I need someone who's willing to volunteer to be an end user. And everybody's going to get called on here since we don't have And everybody will be handsomely rewarded for yes. the first time. Yes. So. <laughs> so you get to be the end user. Or if you want to come up on the yeah. front here, we'll, we'll have a line uh, more along the, the wall here. So in uh, OBIE, there are a number of components, and one of the components is the presentation server. We have a volunteer to be the presentation server. It's the presentation server. It's like the Olympics. Yes. You have a mother shark thing. Exactly. <laughs> so another component, no in the mug another component that you uh, might have been hearing about is you go from session to session, because this is um, pretty prominent, the BI server. It's the kind of heart of, of OBIE, so do we have a BI yes, server? Yes, yeah, well, <laughs> we can come in order, sure. There you go. All right. Yeah, exactly. We're going to have the witness come on in and try Probably to identify have to spread out a little bit, too. Um, so we also need a, a place to authenticate people, so we need a, an LDAP server. Any uh, volunteers to be an LDAP server? No, you know what? You look like... You look like it more, more like an LDAP server than I would. <laughs> People a little more strict than I am. There you go. All right. Maya, we're going to have you be the database table, which holds all of our uh, authorization information. All right. I'll just sit there. You can actually. Uh, uh, all right. So let's actually let's. Uh, you'll, you'll be up in a couple minutes. Maybe like man out here a little bit so there's a little bit of space in between you because we're actually going to be tossing a little frisbee around here. Um, and actually, I'm going to kind of come over here. Let's just kind of swing around, just space out a little bit. So, okay. So basically, what we're going to do here, and we're going to go through this in several stages to, to illustrate a point here. So we're going to walk through. If um, you know, we just hit our screen there. Oh, you did that. Yes. So we're going to walk through. So I go and burn red Right. Oh, I see. We're going to walk through a normal non-SSO OBIE login path. This is what normally happens when an OBIE login. Of course, we're simplifying it quite a bit here uh, for, for purposes of demonstration. But we'll start with our end user. So our end user's going to be entering in his credentials, and that's going to be entered in and passed to the presentation server. So I'll give a little toss over here to the presentation server. We're all it's, uh, come on, we got to. It's really soft. Oh, yes. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so, so when the presentation server gets credentials from a user, it basically has to go to the BI server and say, hey, I have a user here that wants to get into the system. So go presentation server, let's pass it for the BI server. And the first thing the BI server has to do is authenticate the user. And generally in most BI environments or OBI environments, you have some sort of LDAP server. It could be Active Directory, it could be OID, it could be some other uh, open source LDAP server has to authenticate the user. So the BI server is going to pass the credentials of the user to the LDAP server. And the LDAP ser server is going to check, make sure they're there, and send it back to the BI server and say, yep, good to go. Okay, so now the BI server has uh, an actual authenticated user. If you want to move up, you feel free to. Uh, we're going to bring you into this shortly, so don't move up. Uh, so the BI server, now that he has an authenticated user, has to go find out, well, what's this user authorized to see? And generally speaking, in OBIE, that's stored in a database table. So our BI server needs to send the user information over to the database table. Let me throw up a page there. Uh, the database table looks up the user, gets all the group information and other variable information that's relevant to that user, passes it back to the BI server and says, here's what this user is allowed to see. Those get stored in a bunch of session variables. The BI server then passes that back to the presentation server. It says, here's what this user can see. The presentation server figures out what kind of catalog the user can see, all the dashboards and the reports. Passes it back to the user and says, here's what you get. And that's a typical OBI login um, without SSO. So if you hear. Did I miss the box at the end? Yeah, the DAP server when I was back there. Sure, <laughs> you may have. You put a BI to LDAP back to BI and then. Correct. And actually, you guys can have a seat now, and you can actually hold on to that Frisbee. And we'll actually kind of walk through it here up on the screen, just to reinforce. Yeah, you can go sit back down for a moment. We'll call you back up shortly. <laughs> so just to, to reiterate what you just saw there, um, 
So here are our different components, everything that you guys just uh, played. So we start off with our end user. The end user tries to log into the presentation server by entering username and password. Again, this is non-SSO. Uh, the presentation server then, then sends a request to the BI server and says, hey, I have a user here that would like to get into the system. Here's the username and password that they entered. The BI server says, okay, LDAP server, I'm going to try to authenticate this user based on their username and password. Assuming everything's a go, and we're kind of assuming that at this point. Uh, LDAP server says, yep, this user is valid, we'll let them in. Now the BI server has to find out more about the user, and they usually do so from a table that we have you create that contains information about each user, what groups they have access to, etc. So we're going to authorize that user against the table. Again, now this isn't this has nothing to do with passwords at this point. We've already got past the password stage. Now we just need to know more information about this user and what they're allowed to see. That authentication table passes back group information and you know anything else that you have to find in your initialization blocks. And then the BI server sends that information back to the presentation server. And the presentation server, based on those authorizations, figures out what dashboards and reports, et cetera, that the users are allowed to see. So that's the normal login process.